So uh, what data do you look at and what are the actions that you take according to what it shows? Sure. Well, we know everyone who works with Amazon, you get how many emails a day do we get from Amazon around your inventory is this, you should promote this. These are suppressed. These are not, su right? They are using their own systems to try to generate actionable advice. Mm -hmm. And it's usually all around, okay, how do we sell more? Um, if you have low stock, we know the action is load more inventory. Mm -hmm. uh, if you have slow sales, we almost always know the action is lower the price, make the offer more appealing. So mm -hmm. we know there's the ads or just putting a sale or a coupon, but it's, um, we also know that Amazon suggestions are often very wrong. They don't have the full picture, but right. you, when you're managing your brand, you have the full picture. So it's when the AI does what you want it to do, it knows everything you know, then the suggestion is more accurate than Amazon's tools. They, they don't know what you know. So when you're generating that snapshot, you know, it might be an executive summary. The idea is how do we, how do you tell the story of the business mm -hmm. to some, to, to yourself, to your boss? Um, yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, Blair, in, in my work uh, with sellers and also as I was, when I was a seller, uh, there are, first of all, any metric, you look at any metric, whether it's sales or your conversions or your buy box or, or, or price or what, whatever the metric is, you know, number of orders, this, they fall into three different buckets for me. First is they're growing. The second is they're declining. Oh, yeah. And the third is stagnant. So, frankly, my approach is in life. In fact, I do this in my company as a comp part of my company culture. It, I call it the prioritization rule. So... And this applies to anything. I tell people, look, if you've got so many things to do and you can only do one thing, which one do you pick? So right. here is the methodology. The first one you go after is you stop the bleeding. The second is you follow the money. Third is you do it better. So put any task, anything. So, and you can apply this to the data. So frankly, in my book, you know, there are many, many metrics on Amazon from conversion rates to click-through rates. Oh, to yeah. search. So, uh, so uh, out of, you have to be monitoring those metrics, but you have to put those metrics into one of these three buckets. Which bucket does this metric fall into? So now there comes the second uh, phase. If your metric is in growth mode, but it's in fact falling. Equally, if a metric is in decline mode, but it's in fact rising. Yeah. Right? So now in each bucket, you then have to say, is this in a, in a falling mode or is this in a rising? So, so yeah, go ahead. What you've just described is a lot of information about a business, right. whether your product might be, you might have multiple product lines in different right. life cycles. All of this information can be put into a different AI prompt. Right. And you right. could say, my growth skews are these, my declining obsolete skews are these. Here's a spreadsheet of data. You know, tell me something I might not see that's, you know, might not be obvious. Yeah. But the, I, the, the, this is what just is, is changing still every day is that the prompt, the information you're giving it around 
the data is um, the, the most important thing to get useful and valuable information out of these AI tools. Yeah, I mean, it, it, but you know, Blair, the challenge is to be able to separate your metrics into these modes. So what I just described is uh, six different scenarios. Yeah. So you have to be able to, and of course, in order to say, okay, this is in growth mode, but it's falling, but it, this is in decline mode, but it's rising. What you are immediately talking about is looking at data over time. And, and this is ultimately something that I have not seen AI provide yet You yeah. because you have a lot of, so this is something I don't know any systems out there that provides this uh, yep. kind of prioritization. And what I always say is all the tools out there are what I call backward looking. In other words, they just say, okay, here is your profit, here's your sales, here's, and then they show you very nicely all the graphs up to today. And then, um, but it does, there is no prioritization of this needs looking at today because it's yeah. it was in growth mode. It is in growth mode, but it's starting to fall. That is more important than looking at everything else that, that you are being bombarded with. Definitely. So, uh, unfortunately, uh, this is a challenge that uh, every seller uh, has. I oh, don't yeah. know any tools yet. Uh, I know of one company that is working on such a tool, but I'm going to keep it a secret for now. Of course. So. I'll say I, you know, I'm working on it, but it's so, it's a hard problem, right? It we is. were talking about uh, growth mode, stagnant. That's essentially a product life cycle. So if you're a new brand, you might think, oh, all my products are in growth mode, but you kind of have to take a step back and go, okay, are we, have we launched the product? Are we investing in ads and coupons the same way we are now that we were on day one. If you're yeah. not, then you're probably not in growth mode. You're probably in, okay, that's mature mode. But yeah. absolutely what you talked about is essentially plugging the data in on a consistent basis. This is why I use a the API because I can, without a human, it's too much work for a human to, yeah. to download data every day, format it mistakes you make Even mistakes you have so, human errors it's, it's yes the, the computer does not make mistakes but yeah. you know it might not read the data right or it might hallucinate so yeah. <laughs> but that's what i that's why i'm having the most fun especially with all my different clients and all the brands and our seller store right some brands they just want to hire us as a dedicated 3p seller so we buy and sell their product. But most of our business is managing accounts uh, for yeah. people. They want to be hands off. So